Welcome to EduTube. In this video, we'll discuss problem 1 from 66th International Mathematical Olympiad. The problem states a line in the plane is called sunny if it is not parallel to any of the x-axis, the y-axis, or the line x plus y equals 0. Let n greater than or equal to 3 be a given integer. Determine all non-negative integers such that there exist and distinct lines in the plane satisfying both of the following. For all positive integers a and b with a plus b is less than or equal to n plus 1, the point a, b lies on at least one of the lines, and exactly k of the n lines are sunny. Let's take some time to really understand this question. We're working with lines on a coordinate plane, and there's a special rule. A line is called sunny if it's not parallel to the x-axis, the y-axis, or the line x plus y equals zero, which is a 45 degrees line sloping downwards. So, when a line is horizontal, vertical, or 45 degrees sloping downwards, they are not sunny. These blue lines are not sunny, and sunny lines can slant any other way, like slightly tilted or steeply rising or falling. The red lines are sunny lines. To solve the problem, we consider n equals 3. Then we can have three lines total. According to this statement, there are points on the plane, and the sum of the coordinate points is less than or equal to 4. There are six points in total, and they must be covered by the three lines. Now let's think about what kinds of lines we can use and how many of them can be sunny. We can draw horizontal lines through y equals 1, y equals 2, and y equals 3. That covers all the points, but horizontal lines are not sunny. In this case, none of the lines are sunny and k is 0. This idea also works with three vertical lines or with three slanted lines parallel to x plus y equals 4. This logic also holds for every value of n greater than or equal to 3. In general, k equals 0 is always possible. What if we want one sunny line? In the diagram, there is a non-sunny line that passed through only one point. Since it's only passing through a single point, we can draw it in any direction and make it sunny. So k equals 1 is always possible. Let's consider whether it's possible to have exactly two sunny lines. If we look at the diagram, we quickly notice a key limitation. Only non-sunny lines can pass through three points, and a sunny line can pass through at most two points, and these two points are always corner point and midpoint of the opposite side. Now, we draw a line that passes through three points. There are three possible non-sunny line, and in each case, we need to cover three more points by two lines. The three points are like a right-angled triangle. One more line must pass through two of the remaining three points, and the only way is using a horizontal, vertical, or 45-degree downsloping line, all of which are non-sunny. Alternatively, if we start using exactly two sunny lines, they can only pass through a maximum of four points in total. We can draw one sunny line that passes through a corner point and the midpoint of the opposite side. There are only three possible lines. Next, we draw a second sunny line through another corner and its opposite midpoint. In each case, we're left with two remaining points and these also form a pair of corner and an opposite midpoint. To cover these last two points, we need a third line, but that line must also be sunny. Interestingly, we've already found that it's actually possible to have three sunny lines that cover all six points, but it is impossible to draw only two sunny lines. So for n equals three, the number of sunny lines can only be zero, one, or three, but not two. Let's consider n equals 4. We have 4 lines and 10 points in total. Now, in this setup, there are 3 very important non-sunny lines. The vertical line, x equals 1, the horizontal line, y equals 1, and the diagonal line, x plus y equals 5. Each line covers 4 points. If we're trying to draw all 4 lines to be sunny, we need to somehow avoid using all these lines. 
Suppose we decide not to use the line x equals 1, meaning we're not using the vertical line that covers the first column. Let's say we draw a sunny line that passes through just one of those points, like 1, 4. That leaves three more points in that column that still need to be covered. And we've already used up one line. So we now have only three sunny lines left to cover three remaining points in the first column, as well as the other remaining points. In this diagram, the sunny line can pass through at most two points, but we need to cover eight points with three lines. This is a problem for us. To cover eight points with just three lines, at least two of those lines must pass through three or more points. Whenever we try to draw a line through three points, the line is either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, which are not sunny. So now we've hit a contradiction. To cover all the points, we're forced to draw lines that are non-sunny. The same kind of logic applies if we try to avoid using the first row, y equals 1, or the diagonal line, x plus y equals 5. So we must use one of the three lines. If we include one of these non-sunny lines, like x equals 1, the leftover points that still need to be covered looks exactly like the n equals 3 cases. And we already know for n equals 3, the number of sunny lines possible is just 0, 1, or 3. This is also the same if we use y equals 1 or x plus y equals 5. From all of this, we can see a pattern forming. For n equals 3, we carefully checked and saw that the possible values for the number of sunny lines k are 0, 1, and 3. When we go to n equals 4, we still can't push k beyond 3. In fact, every time we increase n to n plus 1, the new points fall along non-sunny directions. So, covering those always forces us to use a non-sunny line. This leads to a simple inductive idea for every n greater than 3. The number of sunny lines is 0, 1, or 3. Hope you liked the solution. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.